Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla giving 50% off at select superchargers in Texas during off-peak hours. Tesla and PG and &E invite customers to create world's largest distributed battery to support grid reliability. Tesla gains over 8% of luxury market share, beating Mercedes and BMW. And, Tesla V4 supercharger design and dimensions revealed. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla is giving 50% off discounts at select superchargers in Texas during off-peak hours. We suspect this is to help the Texas grid cope with the intense heat wave affecting the Deep South. Gail Alfer shared on Twitter that when she checked her screen, Tesla had alerted her to the half-price charging before 11 a.m. and after 8 p.m. The discounted supercharging rates will encourage Tesla owners to charge their vehicles during off-peak times, which will help the Texas grid. Whether or not Tesla is extending this discount to other states suffering from the heat wave isn't known. We would assume not, since Texas has its own grid and Tesla's now headquartered there. Tesla is also working with the state's utility to help reduce the load on the grid. In 2021, Tesla offered the same deal to California customers, with a focus on busier superchargers to help reduce the cost. When Gail was asked to share her thoughts, she said the following. From my perspective, the half-price charging is an effort by Tesla to encourage people to charge at off-peak hours. I feel this is a direct response to yesterday's announcement by Urquhart to conserve power between 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. because of record hot temperatures, which are driving high power demand in my state of Texas. My hope is also that Urquhart will welcome VPPs, virtual power plants, and incorporate Tesla customer power walls into supporting the grid on a volunteer basis. Yesterday, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas Urquhart, issued a conservation appeal. The utility asked its customers to voluntarily conserve electricity yesterday between 2 to 8 p.m. Urquhart and the Texas Public Utility Commission PUC, are also working with Tesla to help stabilize the grid. On July 11, Tesla, Urquhart, and the PUC held a workshop to address the consideration of a distributed energy resource pilot. If Tesla can convince the PUC and Urquhart to allow Tesla Powerwall customers to send power back to the state grid, this will help the grid deal with the extreme heat and other weather events. Moving to the next update, Tesla and PG and &E invite customers to create world's largest distributed battery to support grid reliability. Tesla and Pacific Gas and Electric PG and &E, invited 25,000 customers to create the world's largest distributed battery to support grid reliability, the utility announced. We knew about this partnership in June when the two companies announced they were working together to launch a virtual power plant VPP program. The program allows homeowners with a Tesla Powerwall to send electricity to the grid when needed. The VPP pilot program has now been launched. By enrolling and combining residential Powerwall systems into a VPP that will send power back to the grid when needed, Tesla is now participating in the utility's Emergency Load Reduction Program ELRP. Customers who are participating will also be compensated. The ELRP is a five-year pilot program that offers pg and &E customers financial incentives to reduce their energy usage during grid stress or emergencies. The goal is to avoid rotating outages and minimize costs to customers. The utility noted that it will call load management events for participating customers. Next, it will direct their batteries to discharge when there is a high demand for electricity between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. from May through October. pg and &E customers who have Tesla Powerwalls that are participating will receive $2 for every incremental kilowatt hour of electricity discharged during an event. Moving to the next update, Tesla gains over 8% of luxury market share, beating Mercedes and BMW. Tesla gained 8.6% of the total market share of luxury automotive sales in the United States in the first half of 2022, 
compared to the first half of 2021. Last year, Tesla held 13% of the luxury automotive market in Q1, enough to beat Mercedes-Benz and BMW for the top spot. That number has now swelled to 21.6%, according to data from Automotive News. Tesla's first half of 2022 proved to be one of huge proportions in the United States, where it avoided the troublesome sagas of COVID-related shutdowns that struck the company's other facilities in China. Tesla has always been the unequivocal leader in EVs in the United States, both in tech and in overall production and delivery volume. This year, the company will produce 1 million units globally for the first time in company history, and roughly half of those units will come from factories in the U.S., which are in Fremont, California, and another in Austin, Texas. Perhaps the most impressive feat of Tesla's continuing growth in the luxury sector is the fact that the company continues to fend off competitors from far and wide. Despite the biggest names in automotive production, like Ford, General Motors, and Volkswagen, bringing highly attractive EV models to their lineups, they haven't been able to catch up to Tesla on a global scale. Even more impressive, however, is Tesla's ability to dial in on a section of the overall automotive market that usually has buyers showing their preference for a certain brand or company. BMW and Mercedes-Benz have battled neck and neck on the automotive news rankings for many years. They're both staples in the market and especially in the luxury sector. However, Tesla's surge from small EV startup to a mainstay on the top of the podium in the luxury sector in the United States has shown that more luxury car buyers are also starting to prefer another important feature, that is sustainability. Across Tesla's four vehicles, each has its own bit of individualism. The Model S stacks a luxury interior and high-tech HUD with world-class performance, while the Model X combines all three, just with significantly more cargo room and the amazing Falcon wing doors. Meanwhile, the Model 3 and Y have minimalistic interiors, which offer the same advantages as the S and X, but with less pizzas. They're Tesla's mass-market vehicles, and they accounted for 238,533 of Tesla's 254,695 deliveries in Q2. Tesla will continue to grow over the coming years, and it will hopefully figure out when it can offer some of the highly anticipated models that it plans to bring to the market. The Cybertruck and Roadster may be two vehicles that are highly anticipated, but they're also crucial to Tesla's relevance in two more sectors that are showing worthy competition. For the pickup sector, it will battle with Rivian, Ford, GM, and others, and the hypercar sector, where Rimac has established itself as a worthy number one. Moving to the last update, Tesla V4 supercharger design and dimensions revealed. We have known for quite a while that Tesla has been working on a next-generation V4 supercharger to overtake the current V3 superchargers that are capable of charging speeds up to 250 kilowatt. One of the first real hints of the new chargers came from former executive Jerome Gillen during the company's Q3 2020 earnings call, who said they were working on a 350 kilowatt or so supercharger. Now for the first time, we have some exclusive details about what they will look like, thanks to one of Drive Tesla's source, who was able to uncover the dimensions of the V4 superchargers and then compare them to the sizes of the current V3 supercharger. According to Marco's comparison, the V4 pedestals will be taller, thinner, and have a slightly smaller footprint than the current generation. For reference, the current superchargers are about 5 feet 5 inches tall. According to the sources, the V4 superchargers will look almost exactly like the Tesla Semi Megachargers that have been installed at Giga Nevada and the Frito Lay facility in Modesto. You might be thinking, we received a photo of the Megacharger, but the major difference was not only the connector, but also where the connector docks. As you can see the image here, the Megacharger connector docks quite low, while the V4 supercharger docks about halfway up the side of the supercharger. The red box is an approximation of where the connector docks on the V4 supercharger. We believe this different position is mainly due to the size difference between the two units. Based on what we have been told, the Megacharger stands a few inches shy of 7 feet tall, meaning 
The docks are likely similar heights off the ground, but they appear different because the V4 pedestal is not as tall as the megacharger. We don't know exactly when the first public V4 superchargers will be built, but it will come after the current V3 superchargers get a speed bump up to 324 kilowatt. Based on information received by Tesla enthusiast Sawyer Merritt earlier this year, that is supposed to happen in Q3, so anytime in the next three months. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.